Let's go uh, to the East. Purdue is the one seed. Marquette is the two seed. We have Kansas State as a three. We have uh, Duke as a five with Tennessee as a four. And we have the big storyline here. We talk about how uh, the NCAA loves to get messy when they put this together. We have number 11 seed Providence and our star forward Bryce Hopkins facing off a number six seed Kentucky. So good. Who... Bryce Hopkins transferred out of uh, – let's start with Purdue. Um, I think that they have – of all the number one seeds, like this is the one where you kind of look at it and you say, man, like they 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 might get picked off here. Like I don't – I don't see them getting past Memphis. Mm. Is that crazy? Yeah, no, it's not crazy. I, I thought it was funny that everybody in the media was begging the committee not to put FAU in the 8-9 game. And you know what happened? <laughs> They put mm-hmm. FAU in the 8-9 game. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, no, I think Purdue has the hardest because you walk into Memphis, who's old, you get out, you pressure guards, that's going to be tough. Say they get past Memphis, then you got to probably see, you know, Tennessee or Duke, or even Oral Roberts. Of course, I don't think Oral Roberts has given Zach Eady any problems, but I digress. Uh, that's going to be – that's that's a hard draw for Purdue. A uh, lot of teams that their strengths kind of go towards Purdue's weaknesses. So, um that part's that part will be tough. Um, yeah, they, that Kentucky Providence game though. We'll we'll I get love, to that. We'll 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 get to that. I love it. Here. Um, RC, what do you what do you feel about uh, Purdue's draw um, and kind of Marquette's I think draw? I think top they're on the clock with Memphis. I think they're on the clock with Memphis. I, I think that's going to be and 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 Memphis got a, a hell of a first round game themselves. I mean, that's going to be that's not going to be FAU. It's not going to be an easy game for them, um, but I, I think the Memphis game is gives them a chance. How about it, Jeff? Is Memphis still – is Penny still good for the job? <laughs> I hope he apologizes Where, tonight. I'm waiting for the I'm, – I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my Twitter feeds right now, Jeff. <laughs> waiting that's for the apology. Row, in, yeah, I think he's going to come out and announce this one. Huh? Yeah. That's two years in a row they're in the 8-9 game. Now. And they, they could have beat uh, – they could have beat um, Gonzaga, Gonzaga last year. They could have beat Gonzaga no. a year ago. Could have beat Gonzaga last year. Uh, this one, <laughs> I do think this is an interesting matchup for for a couple reasons. One, or interesting region for a couple reasons. One, um, I don't think Kansas State is like that, like a, a juggernaut or anything like that. Um, I don't love, uh, I don't love Kentucky against Providence, and I don't love Providence with the way they're playing right now. Um, but I could see Kansas State getting picked off. I don't think Tennessee gets past Louisiana. Uh, I could see Michigan State with their two guard backcourt and their five guy that can kind of stretch the floor a little bit. I could see them giving Marquette some issues in the second round. I could see Memphis giving Purdue some issues in the second round. There's just a, I think that this is going to be the region where shit goes to hell. I think Duke might end up being the best team uh, in this region. All right, give me the potential upset that you guys like. RC, we'll go to you first. I don't know if you can call Providence over UConn. Is that really an upset? Kentucky, Kentucky. I mean, Kentucky. I'm sorry. Is Providence over Kentucky really? Would that really be an upset? Would that surprise you? No, but I mean, two, you're, you're two good. programs that struggled. Uh, I I think Michigan State's beat USC. Uh, I I don't think any much issues with Kansas State or Marquette. I think they get through. I think the biggest chance of an upset here is, um, probably would be FAU and Memphis. But I think Memphis pulls that out. So I don't think there's going to be much other than if I had to pick one, I'm going to say Providence over Kentucky. Po. There's one I love, and Tio's okay. gonna hate it that I'm because I'm about to say it. But the one that no. I love is Louisiana no. over Tennessee. Louisiana over Tennessee for a couple no. reasons, but but they Louisiana's got a dude named Jordan Brown who was a McDonald's All American. He started out in Nevada. He went to Arizona. He's averaging twenty and nine right now. Um, I think that they, I think that they can find a way to get. There. I I went into this saying there's no way that I'm going to pick Tennessee to lose to a a 13 seed or a 14 seed, and then they drew the one team that I'm like, you know what? They actually got some big dudes. They actually got some athletic dudes. They actually got some guys that uh that are going to be able to um to give them a little bit of a problem. So I, I like Louisiana. I agree. I, I agree with all of that. I yeah. absolutely. But they eating gumbo that. that afternoon. They're going home. They're not beating. <laughs> <laughs> they back to eating gumbo. But like they they got high major guys. Like they got another dude, Greg Williams, who played the St. John's. You know, it's not like they don't have 
They got they got high major guys on that Louisiana team. I don't think you better be score issue. if you're beating Tennessee because they're going to defend the hell out of you. So hell, you all they got to score is 45 points because Tennessee mm-hmm. can't get out of the 30s. <laughs> That's my point. That's all they need when they're holding you to mm-hmm. 20. Yeah, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but hell, hey, we all know Euros Plavstich is going to try to break both of Jordan Brown's arms the way he plays. Yeah, and then true. like you're going you're gonna to have to hit free throws against Tennessee because Plavstich is a hack. He is a hang. I think it's it's possible that I, I like that 413 call right there. 512. I, I think Max A. Smith is electric. I don't see that happening. Duke's playing too well right now. And um Derek Lively can guard on the perimeter. So I, I'm not worried about kind of Ben over picking and popping as much. Um, yeah, and you know what's gonna happen there is is, is or are you just gonna get I think they're gonna get beat up inside. Like I, I watched that. I, I think about yeah, I think about that and I'm just like, what are they gonna do against Filipowski? Like how are they? How are they going to handle him? Yeah. I don't see how. Like I don't. I just don't know what they do with him. Yep. Yep. All right. Um. Let's. What, what's the What's the best first round match? I think we all know what this is, right? It's Kentucky Providence. Is that the gotta best be. first round match? Got to be. Got to be. Dude, if Bryce Hopkins goes for forty. That would be. That'd be incredible. Yeah. That would be incredible. The Bryce Hopkins revenge the game. Redemption. Be, yeah, it's going to be fantastic to watch. Uh to watch that matchup, especially because like, that's where, that's where Kentucky struggles. Like that's the issue right there is that matchup right there. So um, that's going to be a fantastic one to watch. I also think Memphis FAU is going to be something you have to like, you, everyone's going to watch it. You got to tune into that one. Can't miss that one. Um, the best potential matchup. Like, what do you, what do you want to see down the road in the sweet 16 and the elite eight, maybe the second round. I want to see Kansas state Marquette. I think that would just be a great game. There's so much talent on that floor. Marquise Noel, Tyler Kolick, um, Cam Jones, Keontae Johnson, Omax Prosper guarding Keontae Johnson, and then, you know, whoever uh, Naquan Tomlin wants to guard, like pick one. Like that's a – that's going to be – that's a really talented matchup. I think that that is the perfect matchup for, yeah. for Marquette. I think – like I, I want to see that game because on paper it, it, it sounds really good, but I think that's one that Marquette ends up winning by like 15. Really? I think they I think they put Stevie Mitchell on Marquise Noel. I think they put Omax on Keontae Johnson. Then they just figure the rest out. And you take away the two guys that are studs. And I just don't know what Kansas State's going to be able to do if you take away those two guys. Yeah. A lot to be said there. That that would be a great game. Not a good game. That would be a great game. Yes, a great game. Uh, what do you got, RC? Best potential matchup that you could see happen? Uh I think all I, I like we talked about. I think the the Memphis Purdue. I think we can see, you know, an early upset of a number one seed right there. You know, I think that that second round game is, it would not surprise me at all if Memphis beats Purdue. Mm-hmm. I just think they got the bodies to to throw at them and they're not, a, I mean, we know what Kendrick Davis is. There's no matchup for him. I, I think he can, we, we know what he can do and they, they, they won't, they're they going to have trouble guarding him. Yep. Um. All right. So we, uh, we talked on, talked about like three of the, good mid-majors that are in this league. We talked about uh, this this bracket. We talked about Louisiana. We talked about Oral Roberts, and we talked about FAU. Um, I think I think Louisiana wins their first round game. I think we all kind of agree it's going to be Memphis and Duke that wins the other one. So uh, let me phrase it to you like this. <laughs> Which one of those three do you think is the most likely to be able to find a way to get to the Sweet 16? If, someone's, if there's going to be a darling coming out of that region um, – it's probably going to be one of those three teams, right? So, uh, who who do you see as the most likely to be able to make a run there, To out of the top half of that bracket? Yeah, I, I like Duke, man. The way they're playing, they play no, 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 the mid majors, the mid majors. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you 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 said all these. You said basically all the teams. So I was in and out looking at the bracket. Sorry. Um, Hey guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. I mean, FAU is kind of cute to think about. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Um. I, there, I don't. I don't see one in I this don't bracket. See one. Lu- I don't Louisiana, either. Louisiana potentially, but uh, I just don't see one in this bracket. Yeah. I don't see the Tennessee upset. I, I just don't see it. I don't know where 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 would it come. I don't. I don't. I just don't believe there would be one 
from a yeah. major in this bracket. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't. I see. I think Louisiana gets Tennessee, but I don't think they get they, they get past Duke. So uh, let's let's start. Well, we talk Max A. Smith. There's a mid major player watches him. So let's let's get to the Sweet Sixteen. Let's kind of break this down matchup by matchup. RC, what do you got there? Oh, I'm gonna go. I hate to sound this because they're playing well. I've been picking so many ACC schools, but I think Duke. I like like that matchup. You know, with potentially uh, potentially Purdue, but I think Memphis gives them. It wouldn't shock me if Memphis gets them, but I think Duke. I like Duke there. Um, I'm gonna go Kansas State, and I'm gonna go Marquette. Theo? Um yeah, uh let's uh, oh, shit. Let's go uh Duke over Memphis. And then Kansas State playing Marquette. That's the same that's the same sweet sixteen that I have here. I have Memphis uh... beating, I have Memphis beating Purdue. I have Duke beating Louisiana. I have Kansas State beating Providence after Bryce Hopkins goes for 60, and I have Marquette getting past Michigan State. I think it's going to be a tougher game than, than Marquette fans will realize, but I think Marquette ends up getting to the Sweet 16. I think that's going to uh, be a hell of a game for them. That, that Michigan State game is going to be tough. It is. It is. I mean, because you got the two guards. Like, you have two guys on that team that can go out there and make plays. I just think at the end of the day, I'm kind of, I'm kind of fading Big Ten teams in this entire event. The only Big Ten team that I have making it to the that's second a tried weekend. and tr- that's a tried and true method. Yes, the the only Big Ten team I have making it to the second weekend is Indiana, and I don't even feel great about that. Um, all right, let's get into uh, who do you have in the Final Four coming out of this group, coming out of this region? Duke, I got Duke. Duke, they're playing. Yeah, they're playing so well right now. They're just they're peaking at the right time. They're playing well. I think Marquette and them in the Elite Eight will be a hell of a game. And uh I think Duke. RC. I like the call. I like I like the call. I, I would say the same right now. I mean, the way they're playing coming into this, I worry about them. I worried about them from an experience standpoint of them playing a veteran team. Uh, but I don't know. Like that 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 Tennessee. Duke game is going to be tough because that's the Tennessee's a bunch of physical dudes. I just don't think they can score enough points. Mm-mm. So I gonna... have I have Duke beating Memphis on one side of the Elite Eight. I have Marquette beating Kansas State on the other side of the Elite Eight, and I have Marquette getting to the Final Four. I think Shaka does it. He breaks through for the first time since he took VCU to the Final Four back in 2011. I'd be I'd be so there'd be nobody happier than me. But my accountant wanted me to let you know that Bryce Hopkins isn't scoring 15 at, over Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a text message. He said Bryce Hopkins ain't scoring 15. I was like <laughs> Take it easy, Heisey. <laughs> 15 or 50? 15. I said 50. You said Bryce Hopkins isn't scoring VCs and scoring 15. Yeah, yeah. Tell your accountant to uh I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go put that in the He's vault watching. He's right watching. Now. I know I'm gonna put that in the vault of that right now. I got Bryce Hopkins scoring well over 15 points and uh Providence beating oh, the over under for Bryce Hopkins scoring is what 17 and a half? Yeah, yeah. Give me the over. Give me all of the over. Give me every single bet, every <laughs> single line of Bet Rivers. All of my money. Take my you pushing mortgage, all your chips in on him. Car. Take my kids' college fund. Take every single dime that I have to my name. Take my house. I put my house up. Let's go. 